Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to be installing NCDU on Portainer. So I'm going to be going over it step by step, and at the end of the tutorial, you should have it fully up and running. So a little bit about this series, I'm going over a home lab, so I'm installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what I'll be installing today, NCDU. It's a disk usage analyzer with text mode user interface. It makes it to where you can scan through your files and see where your storage is being used. Um, I didn't make it. I just made the Docker file to where you don't have to install NCDU directly on the system. You can just use the Docker file or uh, the Docker Compose and uh, be, be able to have it partable and anywhere you want that's that has Docker available. So this is what will be installed today. So now I'm gonna start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And I'm going to um, go, go to the search over here and type NCDU. And then now I'd install NCDU on Portainer right here. Gonna click it. And then I'm gonna go in the Docker Compose. So the version number up here is not required to be on there anymore. Um, so I don't have that. I'm just starting with uh, the services. And then the first service underneath the services is called Big Bear NCDU. The container name is called Big Bear NCDU. And this is so Docker doesn't have generate a random name. The image is coming off of Docker by default because there's no year before this. And this is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. And um, also, the Big Bear Video Assets does get updated uh, automatically, so you can come in here and you can copy the raw file and put it into your portainer. Um, so, the container restart policy is set to unless stopped, so that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart, but if it fails for any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then now I'm going to set the container to privileged is true. And this allows me to access the system me metrics more. Um, so now mount uh, necessary volumes. So proc on the host and on the container is proc. And sys on the host and sys on the container. Dev on the host and dev on the container. ETC local time and ETC local time on the container. And then it's set to read only. Now... I'm going to mount the root directory uh, on the of the host to portainer on the container. So this makes it to where you can access everything inside of the a portainer right here from the host and you can see it in NCDU. So now I'm gonna map ports, so 7681 on the host side. And if this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it. Um, so now on the container side is 7681. Do not change the container port. Um, so now environment variables, ncdu path is set to the root directory. And also um, you can change the container uh, uh, path over here because what this is going to do is mount the root directory inside of this right here, a portainer. So you can ch uh, change this to anything you want. So I'm gonna go ahead over here to copy raw file. I'm gonna click it. And then I'm gonna go over to my portainer and get the stack set up. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to start my portainer and I'm gonna go to local stacks and then add stack over here. And then I'm gonna give it a stack name of NCDU. And all stacks are is using uh, Docker Impose. So it's using the Docker engine underneath. So I'm going to go, come down here to the web editor and I'm going to paste in what I copied over from Big Bear Video Assets. Once you do that, you should see it just like that. 
and then I'm going to scroll down to deploy the stack, click it. And what that done is it download the Docker image on thread tree, got it extracted and got it up. So we got it up and running and it's good to go. So now I'm going to start on stacks. And if you go in the stack, you'll see stack up here and then you'll see the actions for the stack. So stop this stack, delete the stack, create a template from the stack. And then stack duplication slash migration. You can come over here to the editor and you can edit the Docker repose. And then once you do that, you can come down here to update the stack, click it. And then now if you want to uh, pull a fresh uh, image off the registry, you can do that from here. So you can check mark that and then it'll pull it down and re redeploy it. That's if you had like the latest tag and you just wanted to get the fresh changes off that tag, you can just click this and then press the update. So I'm gonna cancel. And then now you can see the containers in the stack. So you can come down here and you can click it and you can see that the actions of the container. So start, stop, kill, restart, pause, resume, remove, recreate, duplicate, slash so edit. You can come down here to the con container status. So ID, the name, status, created at, the start time, and then you can come in, come in here to logs and this is great for debugging. Um, so inspect, stats, console, attach. And now when you're in the logs, you can see the port right here. So you can go to that with your portainer's IP address. Um, so access control, create image, and then the container details like the image. Port configuration on the host side is 7681, and on the container side is 7681. A command, the entry point, environment variables, and then the labels, and then restart policy. I would change this inside of the Docker Compose. And then volumes, so this is all the binds. And then the networks down here, it started a bridge network. And um, now if you wanted to change the uh, restart policy, you, you would do it right here. And then you just press update and update. So that's a little bit about the Docker pose, uh, the stacks UI and the container UI in portainer. So now I'm going to go to the UI. So your portainer's IP address and then 7681, and that's what the the host side is, 7681. So I'm going to um, go to it, and now it's gonna scan all the fi files, and then you can see 3.5 gigabytes in the portainer right here. Um, so you can go into it, and then you can go into it, and you can drill down into the directories and you can find uh, what's using your space, which is very handy. Um, you can press the D on the keyboard and you can delete it if you'd like. Um, so I'm gonna say no. Um, so you can really drill down and you can get to the nitty gritty on what's using it. And sometimes it's logs using it or anything like that. So, so you can go into this and you can see the journal is using 704 and then 316, um, 72. So you can see all that really easy. So that's about the Docker image that I created and hope you like it. So I just went over step-by-step step on getting NCDU running on Portainer. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video sessions or any community support, you can go into the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.